going to show you how to import your EVV visits so that you can use them for billing and payroll. To do that, what you're going to do is click on the main menu item that says Employee Activity. Then you will go to Import Visit Charges. When you pull up this screen, you are going to click on View Visits. This is going to show you all of the visits that have come in on EVV. You can change the dates as needed if you only want to select certain dates. This will show you all the visits. If you need to make a change to any of the visits, all you have to do is click on it and then click the button that says Edit Highlighted Visit. This will bring it up so that you can make a change. Some of the things that you may want to change depending on what happened would be the employee, the patient, the program and payer, the job code, the visit status, the visit type, or so on. So one thing that you want to make sure is if the visit was actually made in EVV, you will not be changing the times here you will want to change them on the EBV visit screen before you import them. The reason for that is the EBV visit screen corresponds with what is sent to send data. So you want to be sure that what you send to send data matches what you do for billing. So if, some, if you have a visit where the time is incorrect here, you're going to go back out of here and go to the EBV visit screen and correct it there. And then you'll come back here and view visits again and go forward. So you'll use Edit Highlighted Visit primarily for changing your coding as needed. The rounding happens at the time of billing and at the time of reporting. So you're not going to be doing rounding at this screen. The rounding will occur later on. So um, you don't have to worry about the rounding. What we're going to pull in is the actual times, and that is according to the EVV requirements. So if you've needed to make any changes, you like again, if you need to make any changes, you'll edit highlighted visit, make any changes to the coding as needed, and then save it and come out of there. The final step on this screen is to actually create visits from the EVV. The button that does that is Create Visit Charges. I'm going to go ahead and click on that button and you'll see it run. It is going to load any of the assessments that I have done in the system on EVV. It's going to give me a printout of those visits as well. We recommend that you save this document um, either to your local computer if you have the portal system, you can change it there. Um, either way, we recommend saving it or printing it or both so that you have it as a reference for what visits came in from EVV and what you've already imported to the system. These visits will not appear for import again. Uh, it's a one-time import that pulls them in permanently. Once you're done with this document, you can go ahead and close it. The charges that you have imported will now appear under Employee Activity and Visit Entry. So you will see right in here all of the visits that I just imported. So again, now they act the same as visits that you have keyed. So if you need to make changes, you can. Once again, you do not want to change the in time and out time of EVV visits because those do need to match what was sent in send data. So you want to leave the in time and out time as they were for EVV. If you need to change the coding, the job code or visit status code, then you can do that. Um, however, don't change the time in and time out. So you can see the individual charges here. Those charges are now available for payroll reports as well as for billing. So I can run my billing and my payroll as I normally would at this point 
and it will run exactly as if I had keyed in those charges and those visits individually the way you're used to. So importing does exactly the same thing as keying in the visits.